for class 11 student for class 11 11 student see today i am going to explain about limits limits uh, now i am going to explain it in a very easy way the simple meaning the simple meaning of limits i am going to explain it in a very easy way suppose this is your house suppose this is your house and suppose this is your house there is one road that comes from the right side and there is another road which comes from the left side which comes from the left side another road which comes from the left side now one from the right side and another from the left side now on the right side there are three houses on the right side there are three houses and on the left side there are three houses on the left side there are three houses and the distance between this third house and your house is say h and the distance between this your house and the third house towards left is h now from the third house from the third house towards right from the third house towards right I am proceeding to your house. I am slowly moving to your house from the right side and from the third house. As I move forward, as I move forward, the distance h reduces, the distance h reduces and when this h is almost zero i reach to your house almost zero i reach to your house similarly if i come from the left side that is from the third house if i come from the left side and left side from the third house if i am coming from the left side as i proceed to your house as i proceed to your house the distance h reduces and distance the distance h reduces as i proceed to your house from the uh, proceed to your house uh, from uh, left the distance h reduces and as it becomes almost zero i reach to your house then i can say that this road is continuous at your point then i can say that this house is continuous at your point so let this uh, uh, point at which your house is located be x is equal to a the house where it the point where your house is located be x is equal to a so all this which i explained to you this can be written mathematically that is when i am coming from the right side coming from the right side that is limit x tends to a fx that is equal to limit h tends to 0 f a minus h means this is a function this root this uh, this is a function f x and uh, 
this is a function this road can be considered as a function and this road is considered as a function so i am coming from the right side means a plus that means i am coming from the right side because right side the value of the right side is always higher than the left side you can from the graph you can see that any point you take any point the right side the value of the right side the value of the right side is uh, greater than the value on the left side so if this is x is equal to a this side is greater than a that means if this is h if this is h then this point will be a plus h and if this is uh, similar this point will be uh, at this point will be a minus h so this i am coming from the sorry a plus h a plus h this is a plus h i am coming from the right side that is uh, i am coming from the right side and similarly when i am coming from the left side that is limit x tends to a minus f x that is equal to limit h tends to 0 f a minus h that is when I am coming from the left side and this is when I am coming from the right side. So if these two are equal that is if limit h tends to 0 f a minus h is equal to limit h tends to 0 f a plus h if these two are equal then we can say that then we can say that your function and means fx is continuous fx is continuous at x is equal to a this is the simple meaning of limit and uh, i have tried to explain you in a very simple way that means actually uh, so in in terms of graph so in terms of graph it can be represented like this so in terms of graph that is this is x o x dash and this is y o y dash so in terms of graph in terms of graph that is y is equal to fx this is your graph and select this x is equal to a this is a point i am coming from this side this distance is h and another this distance also h so this is x is equal to a plus h and this is x equal to a minus h so when your left hand limit uh, left hand limit limit x stands to a minus fx that means limit h tends to 0 f a minus h and your right hand limit limit x tends to a plus fx that is limit h tends to 0 f a plus h so when your right hand limit is equal to left hand limit that is limit h tends to 0 f a minus h is equal to limit h tends to 0 f a plus h then we can say that the we can say that uh, the function the function is we can say that the function uh, we can say that the function the function is continuous is continuous at x is equal to a this is the meaning of uh, limits so 
now that means uh, little bit i i am making it more uh, simpler that means suppose this is n is 37 and suppose here yeah, this is a road which is n is 51 so now let this be the junction point let this be the junction point just this is the junction point so when i come from the right side that is uh, when i come from this n is 37 road and if i reach to this junction point and when i come from this uh, n is 51 road and if i come to the same junction point then we can say that the road is a continuous at point at this junction point so this may follow a different graph say this may be f1 x different function and this is a different function f2 x so now this is the junction point now when i am coming from the right side that is when i am coming in this road is n is 37 road and when i am coming from this 51 road if i reach to the same junction point that means at this junction point these two roads meet that means this is continuous at this junction point so uh, this is uh, all about limit now now there are few formulas that is few formulas uh, of limit first is that uh, limit x tends to 0 sin x by x equal to 1 and the limit that is uh, x tends to a x to the power of n minus a to the power of n by x minus a is equal to n a to the power of n minus 1. So first exercise uh, 3.1 that is the limit x tends to 3 that is x plus 3 I have to just simply place the value of 3 here so this will be 3 plus 3 is equal to 6 now question number 6 that is limit uh, x tends to 0 x plus x tends to 0 x plus 1 to the power of 5 minus 1 by x so here you see when you place the value of 0 uh, the denominator becomes 0 and it becomes not defined so we have to manipulate some we have to manipulate it so here you see limit x tends to 0 x plus 1 to the power of 5 minus 1 by x plus 1 minus 1 so limit x tends to 0 uh, so one thing I am going to do here let let x plus 1 is equal to y so when x tends to 0 your y tends to 1 so limit y tends to 1 y to the power of 5 minus 1 by y minus 1 this i can write as limit y tends to 1 y to the power of 5 minus 1 to the power of 5 by y minus 1 now this follow this formula so this will be equal to 5 1 to the power of 5 minus 1 so this will be equal to 5 your answer is now i am going to question number seven now i am going to question number seven i have selected only few problems which are a little tricky only i have selected only those problems now question number seven limit x tends to 2 3x square minus x minus 10 
by x square minus 4. So this will be, again you see when you place the value of 2 in the denominator, it becomes 0. So it is not defined. So I have to do something. That is first of all, I will factorize the numerator by splitting the middle term. So limit x tends to 2, 30, that means 6, 5. 3x square minus 6x plus 5x minus 10 by uh, x square that is x minus 2 x plus 2 so here limit x tends to 2 3x common x minus 2 plus 5 common x minus 2 by x minus 2 x plus 2 so this will be limit x tends to 2 this is x minus 2 3x plus 5 and this is again x minus 2 x plus 2 so this cancels out so this will be limit x tends to 0 3x plus 5 by x plus 2 so when x is equal to 0 it will be 5 by 2 will be your answer so this is your answer